Let's go ahead and take a look at the system families first. These are items that are built within the Revit environment. The walls, the pipes, the ducts, the conduits, and the cable tray. First thing, let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the piping that we've got here in our project we've got set up. Let's go ahead and hit edit, duplicate, and we will call this domestic type L copper. And go ahead and hit OK. Let's come down here to our routing preferences and hit edit. Come up to our segments and sizes. This is where we can create new segments or we can change the segments. We can change pipe sizes. Let's go ahead and exit out of this. Let's go down here and we'll change our pipe segment to copper L. And now we need to change our max size to be a four inch. Let's go ahead and load family. Scroll up to our copper fittings that I've already downloaded. Be sure we select them all. Control shift and click. There we go. Give it a second to load in. And let's see. Oh, we got one that isn't upgraded to 2016, but now it is. So we can go down here and you can see we've got a couple different options within the elbow. Let's go ahead and we'll pick standard. Our preferred junction type, we'll go ahead and leave at T. The junction, let's go ahead and pick the Elkhart T that we've got. The cross, we're not going to worry about. And let's go ahead and pick the reducing coupling, not the backup pile. Let's pick that one. The union, we'll pick the joint with the stop. And the flange, we'll leave alone for now. And the cap, we'll go ahead and pick our Elkhart cap that we've got. Let's come back up to our... Now you can see we've got all the fittings in there. First, let's go into segments and sizes. We can add new ones if we want to. As you can see, we can specify these. The thing we want to look at is type copper L. Let's give it a segment description. Type L, no space, type L copper. And we'll go ahead and do that so we can use it for tags and schedules at a later date. So click OK. Click OK. And as you can see through here, we can add a couple different items. We can do a type image, assign a keynote, a model. We can give it a manufacturer on who's going to be shipping us the copper piping. We can also associate a cost to it right here. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Now, as you can see, we've changed this to our domestic type L copper. Let's go over here. Make this bigger so we can see it. So we'll change this down to a 2 inch. Let's go ahead and right click and draw pipe. Put a couple different segments in here showing the elbows. Let's go over here and change this to an inch and a half so we can show the transition. Make sure it's automatically connect. And let's go ahead and draw another inch and a half off of our two inch copper line right here. And there now we have our new pipe type with the pipe fittings that we have already specified. Let's go over here. Come into a 3D view and as you can see our fittings, our true fittings, our connections go all the way where they're supposed to be. Our pipe lengths come into where they, the stop's going to tell the contractor to stop it. And as you can see here, we've got the pipe segment of copper L, as well as the segment description now says type L copper. This will help in later, later functions when you're scheduling and doing spool drawings. So the other way we can do this is go down to our project browser. Let's minimize some of these windows. Okay, let's scroll down, minimize our piping system. And go ahead and right click on chilled water. Go up to duplicate. And right click. And let's go type properties. And we can hit, since we've already duplicated it, we can hit rename. Put this over here. Hydronic. Water. Hydronic. Welded. Let's go back into our routing preferences. Our segments and sizes again. Let's go ahead and we want to change the pipe segment, not to copper, but we want to go to a schedule 40. Make sure all of our fittings have a generic and a welded. This will actually be a threaded and a welded, but we'll leave it as a generic for now to save some time so we can get going through here. Let's set all of our minimum size and our max size. The 
T and or tap. For now, we'll just leave it at T. We want to do it as a tap if we're doing anything less anything less than a one inch pipe size for a weld -a or a thread -a depending on the contractor you're working with. So let's go ahead and now you can see we now have the new hydronic welded pipe type in there.